I think I mentioned that on uh, on this coming Wednesday, we're going to have a visit from this uh, government office that does sort of consulting about um, actually most of the topics we've talked about in class so far, climate change policies, automation within the government. And I think they're going to focus on automation. But um, I thought that I'd introduce a short reading about something that I've been thinking about a little bit, which is the idea that technology progresses independent of what we as a society decide. So it turns out that I've, I've now done a bit of research and it turns out this idea is called uh, technological autonomy um, or the autonomy of technology or something like that. Um, and of course, you know, people have thought about it. So again, the idea is sort of that technology is developing and um, and there's nothing that, you know, we as a society can do to, to stop it. Um, it's an idea that I think is kind of out there often um, in society and, and certainly has something to do with the way we think about automation or technological progress. You know, it's like this, um, if you think about the way that we treat technology and say our neoclassical growth model, you know, it's just this exogenous thing that just kind of grows over time. If you think about the way we looked at it in our uh, model of climate change that we looked at uh, last week, the Nordhaus model, again, we had this technology that was just evolving over time. And then we had this uh, carbon intensity that was just uh, falling over time. And it seemed to be sort of out of the control of anything that we could do. Now, of course, there's uh, there are economics models like an endogenous growth model where technology is, uh, is part of the model. But um, I think that often when we think about something like, say, automation or, uh, or say, the way that, like, you know, self-driving cars or AI is developing, it's almost as though they're somehow outside of the sphere of what we can control. So uh, I thought it'd be fun to sort of learn a little bit about that. Um, also something that's kind of new for me. So I spent actually quite a long time over the last couple of days trying to find the right reading. Um, and I found something, I'm still not 100% sure whether it's definitely the right thing, but let me actually just show you, it's, it's quite short. So, um, so this is a reading that's out of a book called uh, um, Autonomous Technology, I believe. And it's by Winner, is the guy's name. Now I'm gonna be able to find the uh, author's name here. Find it really quickly, it's at the top. By Langdon Winner. So Autonomous Technology by Wing Langdon Winner. And I'm gonna have you just read a few pages so, um, so it's all from his chapter one, where he's just kind of explaining what he's going to do. And you can see that I've actually just given you quite a little bit here. So um, it's maybe four pages, and then, uh, and then down here a couple more pages. Um, and I've crossed out the parts I don't want you to read. So again, the idea is just to think about that idea that um, whether it's reasonable to think that technology should could somehow have a life of its own. Um, so look forward to uh, discussing it with you on Wednesday. By the way, so the I think the OES office is going to talk for like forty five minutes ish, and uh, and then for the rest of the time we'll we'll take a look at this this idea.